artist and art instructor. I was just looking at a mobile that I made today. It's an artwork made from brunch that they found in the park. Recycled cardboard and I used some string, glue, scissors and a few markers. It was quite simple. If you would like to make one, you shall. Keep on watching. I can show you how. I decided to create mobile with birds simply because I love watching birds and they like drawing birds. Also, I was looking around my home and I found art and some books with birds in it. And I will share some with you. Here's the plate that they really love. It's very colorful and it shows two peacocks. They're not realistic peacocks. They don't look like any real peacock we can see in nature. But I still like them and that's fine. Here I got one fluffy stuffy. That's my baby penguin. And here is a, a little painting. It's a hummingbird painted by Leanne McLaren, an artist from Vancouver. This uh, hummingbird is holding a small rooster. It's a funny idea because hummingbirds are smaller than roosters, but they like this idea. I got a figurine from Mexico also to share with you. It's another bird that it doesn't look realistic, like any kind of bird that you can see in nature, but it still looks like a bird. So what makes bird a bird? A beak, wings, and a tail. You can draw realistic birds or try to draw realistic birds. I drew this pigeon or you can try to draw some funny birds from your imagination or birds, simple birds like this. And I am going to show you how you can draw this type of bird. Here. Let's draw a circle. Then triangle. Then to draw this type of birds you have to know also how to draw a rectangular shape and drop. Then egg shape or oval and maybe square. So if you know how to draw these shapes, then it's going to be fun to try to draw any of these birds. Or you can combine these shapes in a different way and create different kind of birds on your own, your own style. I'm going to show you how you can draw birds with just triangular shapes in three circles. So here, one circle, two more, and you have a head. Here is one triangular shape and you got a beak. Then 
I'm going to draw one long triangle for the body and here is one little at the end you're guessing that's tail I'm going to draw wings and they're going to be again just triangular shapes here is the bird now you can practice combining any of these other shapes and try to find how many different birds you can create using just these simple shapes. For your mobile, you can use cardboard, like it's recycled cardboard from packaging for different boxes, or you can use cardstock, thick paper. What you're going to do with this type of cardboard? Inside this box is one solid color. It's usually brown or gray. How can you turn printed side of cardboard into nice useful drawing surface? Spread some glue with a piece of cardboard Make sure you spread the glue evenly all over the cardboard. Then paste the drawing with the bird that you like, or you can paste a new fresh sheet of paper and just make sure to get rid of uh, all air bubbles trapped between white paper and cardboard. Wrap the paper evenly. Wait for the glue to dry before you start drawing. Now you will have one white side to draw on and the other will be possibly brown, beige or gray. Uh, we usually draw and write on white paper, but look at my birds that I drew on brown paper. I like them. Here is one, here is another one, gray side, white side. I think they all look good. It's good to make, to prepare a uh, few cardboards in this way because you will need uh, a lot of cardboard or quite a few to create five different birds or drawings for your mamba. Let's start. To color this bird, I'm going to use only a few chosen colors, not the whole dozen. I discovered uh, then when I carefully pick two or three colors, I think more and make better decisions about where and how I'm going to use each color. I have to plan and the result always looks better than when I use colors randomly. And that's so often the case when you reach for the whole package of different colors. So get ready. Pick up your two or three favorite colors. Take one more look at your drawing. Maybe create a pattern with black marker or finish some other details and after that you can start coloring.
Okay, I think I'm ready to cut out the paper here. finish this later. On the other side now I have brown paper and I can draw another bird and this time I think I'm going to uh, draw a bird using the shape of drop and then I will use the tip of this shape for the beak okay and then again one round shape the other round shape and then I am going to create here one more drop like shape and I will add here wings that are going to be hmm, like some kind of not really finished rectangular shape <laughs> and here another one so here is a little bit of a curve that we have but that's okay You can also use the uh, color of the cardboard as another color. 
So you can just leave it here, light brown or gray or whatever is the color of the cardboard. We have to find where uh, we are going to make a hole because each of our drawings, each part of mobile has to have a little hole so we can pull the, the string through and I think maybe this is going to be a good spot to make a hole. Now you can try to use if you have uh, puncher, hole puncher, or you can try to uh, use scissors. If you are using scissors and you don't have this, maybe uh, you can ask uh, an older person in your home, mom, dad, or grandma, or grandpa, or older brother or sister, whoever is there uh, with you to try to make a smaller hole, maybe with smaller scissors. And I am lucky to have this. We bought that in dollar store. And I'm going to just punch one hole here. And here it is. One drawing for my next mobile. Now I think I will color this a little bit more nicely and I will make few more for my new mobile. 